Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, this is a pretty weird angle to start off, but today I'm back with another video. And yeah, the context of which is yesterday my friend actually contacted me saying that he wanted to clear off some of his Lego just because he's moving house. And he gave me a price and I basically paid for some of his minifigures and a set I've always wanted from his collection. So without further ado, let me show you what it is. So to start off, this is the Ninjago collection that he kind of gave to me after I paid him $50 for all of his minifigures. So the minifigures he gave me actually involves uh, three teams in general, from Lego Castle, Lego Star Wars, and of course Lego Ninjago over here. Anyways, without further ado, let me just show you the minifigures and talk about, you know, what each of these minifigures are. So I'll be putting down like the price of each of the minifigure probably over here so as the video goes on you will see the price increase but basically I paid $50 for all of these minifigures which is pretty cheap obviously. And yeah first off we have Kai DX. So this figure right here is pretty legendary it's from season 1 of Ninjago and if you haven't realized I kind of uh, like put it in certain categories depending on the seasons whereby this minifigures appear. So this is from season 1. Very nice minifigure, I never actually had it before and I of course never realized because I never had them before the DX figurines that they actually have names behind them so this is yeah, the Kai word behind which is pretty rad. And otherwise next on we also have JDX. If I'm not wrong one of the most expensive minifigures throughout this whole collection that I just got this is worth like around $19 used online which is crazy honestly. Really really nice condition honestly other than some discoloration over here I think because he put it on the sun or something like that. But otherwise I'm just really happy I got this minifigure. The J name is behind it as well. Pretty nice looking. And that's it. And we also have um, Ko Kendo which is also a nice minifigure to get but I don't really care for it honestly because I already have it in my collection and this one is more discolored than my own which is yeah. And then we have two Nia from the Golden Weapons series, basically a season one as well, which is pretty cool. But the arms of this is pretty discolored as well. Really kind of sad because my friend put it on the sun, so most of these minifigures are kind of discolored to an extent. But uh, I already put down the prices of the lowest price you can get for used minifigures, so yeah, it should work out. But yeah, the, this first knee actually looks pretty good with the nice prints over there, so I kind of like it. And then next we also have uh, Samukai, which is actually the most expensive minifigure throughout this entire haul. So that's pretty cool, it's like 20 plus dollars, which is ridiculous because they only appeared in one set throughout the whole entire history of Ninjago, so yeah. We also have Fracture over here, which is a pretty nice minifigure to get. Really nice to get new Skulkin minifigures, honestly. And I love his bone axe right there, although there's some discoloration to which. But yeah, pretty cool minifigure. I really like it. And next on, let's just pull out each of these first row minifigures and show you the second row. We have quite a few notable faces, of course. So first of all, we have Kai Final Battle right there. And afterwards, we have Jay and Zane's uh, golden weapon figures, if I'm not wrong. And then, of course, we have Lloyd Final Battle as well, which is worth quite a bit for around $5. So that's pretty cool looking. We also have uh, Master Wu from the Golden Weapon season, which is around season one final part and all. So yeah, none of these figures except for the Zin and Jay over there. I actually don't have all of them. So basically, it's pretty cool to get them in collection. I mean, otherwise, the last two over there are actually um, Stone Army minifigures. I think this one right here is a Scout, and this one right here is a Swordsman. So. Yeah, one is this one over here is actually a blue face, whereas the other one is yellow face. And that's all I have to say for this. Okay, now on to the third row. We have quite a few serpentines over here because this is from the second season, the rise of the snakes and all. So, but before that, uh, first of all, we also have uh, Ko ZX over there, which is looking pretty good, but with only slight discolorations. And then otherwise, we have um, Lashy which is heavily discovered if you don't realize by the colorations of this. This is really weird looking. When I saw this, I was really, really sad. So I, I was honestly wondering how much sun the minifigures were under, but yeah, that side note aside, uh, this minifigures do look pretty cool. I guess the prints weren't really affected and all. And then we also have Slytherin, which was the original Hypno Bride leader, if I'm not wrong. 
and of course we have Fang Dim over there as well, Zaru, uh, Biter, and lastly Snick, if I didn't pronounce that wrongly. And with that, that's it for the third row. On to the fourth. For our fourth row of minifigures, this is from the rebooted season, I think around season 3 if I'm not wrong. Uh, I can't really remember properly because it's been so many years since the intro will come out, you know. I was kid at the time. But yeah, uh, these figures are basically other than Ko over there, which is from the same season, all of them are Nindroids. I started off from the left two Nindroids, this two over here. It's actually our favorite general Cryptor, which is pretty cool because the price of these minifigures are actually quite expensive for around $5 plus and in excellent condition as well. I have never gotten this minifigure before so I'm really happy to get two from my friend. And even the back of this minifigure is well maintained so yeah I really like it for that. Otherwise this tree over here are actually just normal Nindroids and all. It's worth around $1 plus and this one is worse for because like there's no print for the legs. But yeah, that's it for this Nindroids over here. On to the next row. So this row right here is actually technically our last row for Ninjago. Just because uh, the, the last row behind this row is basically uncompleted figures. So they are missing some parts like their mask is missing or their hats are missing. So I can't really count the prices of them. So I won't be providing the prices uh, after this row. But yeah. Just looking at these minifigures right here, obviously this is from the Possession season. So we have Ko Possession right here, which is a pretty cool minifigure to get. Really like his torso right there. And a nice minifigure kept in good conditions. Even the back torso is pretty good condition as well. So yeah. Other than that, we have some of the Phantom Ghosts. There are the Lackeys of Moro, if you remember from that season. And first off, we have Blade Master Bensha, which is a pretty cool minifigure to get right there. Really, really nice. I really like it. And otherwise, we also have the other master, which is known as Scyther Master Goto. So, yeah, another cool minifigure to get. Really like the purple hat and just the skull face beneath that. Really cool. And we also have two of those. Uh, ghost soldier minifigures, one known as Will and the other one known as Goker or Gurker. See, I'm looking at my notes right now, but that's what it says. I don't really know the exact names, but uh, this is what I got from Rick Link that like their names, I mean. So, yeah, nice minifigures. And lastly, we have the uncompleted minifigures over here, and of course, some. Uh, extra parts as well so these extra parts are over here are like some pickaxe that is heavily discolored some armor from chima because my friend actually had chima like armors left over so he kind of put them in as well and i think that's probably be another one of ko zx uh athletes so yeah and this is a random leg piece from some minifigure so yeah. but that aside we also have a hair piece right there and yeah, this uncompleted minifigures, let me just quickly go through them. So over here, what you can see is basically we have some uh, leftover of Kai ZX, Ko ZX right there. Uh, this is Master Wu when he was controlled by the Nindroids. I forgot what he's called. This is another one of Golden Master. I mean, a uh, Golden Weapon Wu right there. And this is technically a heavily discovered, <laughs> discolored. Uh, Zane DX which is really funny because the whole color has changed if you can't tell which is crazy so yeah and this is probably from Skybound or Possession of J so yeah and this is uh, of course Samurai X Nier right here the torso and leg pieces so yeah and behind we also have another one of those Possession Ghosts and then a half bodied um, Kai DX right there and lastly, uh, Garmadon, which has lost his arm and headpiece. So. so for our castle minifigures, we don't have many over here because all of them are technically dwarves. There's a total of eight dwarves uh, that are complete. One that is incomplete behind, and we also have some leftover armor pieces, like headpiece and like just beard piece. But that aside, uh. Going on to this minifigures right here, our most valuable one is actually this first black dwarf over here, which is worth around $15 use, which is amazing. And we also have this one over here, 
if I'm not wrong, that's worth around uh, $17, which is really expensive. So yeah, I'm really glad to get them for a really cheap price. But I never imagined that I would actually get this straw figures. I didn't even know my friend had it too, he sent the photo. So yeah, it's really great to get them. And I can't wait to like get some of those like Rise of Brick custom figures, you know? That I just really want to attempt on some kind of Viking customs. So this kind of increases the probability of which, basically. And yeah. Really like them so far, and honestly, that's all my opinions on this. The rest of the minifigures prices, I kind of just estimated it just because it's really hard to identify them online on Brick Link because they all kind of look the same to me. So, anyways, that's it for my comments on this. And now let's turn around and go to Star Wars. So, for Star Wars minifigures, I'm actually really glad I get all of this because uh, one group of minifigures I've always wanted is actually this guys over here so this are actually the death watch members if I didn't remember wrongly so yeah I've always wanted this minifigures and I'm actually really glad to finally get them and they're in amazing condition might I say with those prints right there and the jetpack behind really glad I got it and we also have C-3PO over there as well which he gave and of course this is the astromech known as R2Q5 I actually have no idea until I look at my notes but yeah uh, this is R2Q5 right there from I think 2008 era if I'm not wrong and then this is Chewbacca from I think maybe one of the Heaven Clans and with that let me just move away this first row and show you the second row so second row over here we have Quite a bit of minifigures right there. First of all, we have uh, the Separatist Nick Gunray right there. And then we have a clone trooper and a clone pilot. This clone pilot here is actually the most expensive minifigure technically out of the completed Star Wars figures that he gave me. So yeah, really glad to get him in pretty good condition. Just a bit of discoloration. Otherwise, it's perfect. It's worth it around $9. So yeah. And we also have some half uh, rebels as well. This is actually the half officer figure from one of the battle packs. And the half rebel trooper was just from the same battle pack. And then we also have Zef Seneska, which is from an advent calendar. And this is uh, Jack Hawkins from one of those Luke Skywalker sets. So yeah, I actually really like this one just because of the helmet prints and the face print right there. Looks really amazing, so yeah. And then next we also have a TIE Defender Pilot right there. A uh, pretty nice minifigure to get. And next row we have some Jedi minifigures. So Jedi minifigures wise, they are actually pretty heavily discolored if you can tell. From the Luke Skywalker and the Obi-Wan minifigures. They kind of change colors. If you can't tell from um, the sunlight that my friend exposed it to and all. So yeah. So this right here is Luke Skywalker right there. Looking pretty cool and pretty tanned up. Another Ben Kenobi or Obi Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. From what I know, these two minifigures are from the same set. And we also have another Obi-Wan Kenobi, but this is from the Clone Wars era sets. So yeah. And this right here. This right here might be my favorite minifigure out of the entire haul just because it's in absolute amazing condition, I would say, almost like new. But other than that, it's also because like this figure right here, I just love winter season honestly, and I love Yoda, so because do or do not, there is no truck, you know? And yep, yeah, it's an amazing figure to get, and I really love it. It's from one of the, I think, 2011 Evan Club, so yeah. And with that, that's actually all our completed figures. The ones over here, they're actually not completed, although they look kind of completed to an extent. So this right here is a keychain if I'm not wrong, but I don't know from what show or if it's from Star Wars or not, so you can tell me in the comments. But this three right here are not completed at all. This is supposed to be one of those, I think Rebel Troopers from one of the sets, but he doesn't actually have the correct helmet with him. So yeah, so he's uncompleted. And then this is from the half battle pack as well. 
but he doesn't has his has his head as well, so uh, he's not completed. And lastly, we have Darth Maul over here. And I know Darth Maul looks pretty completed to anybody, but I know it's not completed just because he doesn't have his like horn headpiece right there, and it's replaced with this hoodie and that cape, which technically doesn't belong to this Darth Maul. It belongs to another Darth Maul from another set. So this right here is actually a combination of two Dark Mauls, which is pretty wild if you think about it. And yeah, with that, that is all our minifigures. But it's not the end of the video, because I still have one big item which I would like to show you that I paid $60 for. So this right here is what I spent $60 to buy for my friend. And yeah, this is one of my dream come true, literally. This is one of the dragons from Season 1 of Ninjago, the Lightning Dragon to be more specific, Jay's Dragon, and yeah, I think the only one that's bigger than this dragon is actually the Ultra Dragon from Season 2. So I'm, I'm just incredibly ecstatic in getting this dragon right here for 60 bucks, because like, I never imagined it would be in my collection, and my friend kind of flexed it to me last year doing a Zoom call and all, and he was like, look, I have a Lightning Dragon. For my childhood and then a year later it's mine to keep totally crazy how things turn out so yeah i'm really glad to get it in the collection really really flexible although for like 10 years of age and all and in pretty good condition as well after i washed it all, all a pretty good dragon to get for this rising and that's all i have for today although some of the parts of this dragon is definitely missing the flex and all all, all in pretty perfect condition so yeah, I'm really glad to get it in the collection, though I currently still haven't found a place to put it in, so yeah, that's a problem for an entity. But that's it for today's video anyways. So I got 61 minifigures, 61 complete ones, together with this dragon right here, for $110, which is a very small amount of LZ. I counted the minifigures pricing, and for use price, it's actually around $248, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, I really got a darn good deal. I think less than half of what was required. And yeah, it's really happy. And that'll be it for today. So if you like this video so far, please do make sure to subscribe to the channel by pressing the button right down below and turn on the notification bell. And yeah, Maximus and Tudos. Bye guys.